Right, if you can hear his son laughing, he's talking to his mates on his bloody whatever it is. So I don't want to start steal his happiness, so he'll just have to get on with it. Uh, 4th of July 2024. Um, this, one, this song today is not my favourite band, and you'll be shocked because it's the Beatles. But um, I'm not sure, but I think that's um, Daggers. I'm not sure. Um, it's Hide Your Love Away. Hey, you got a Hide Your Love Away. So it's Secret Love, maybe. First House Aries, which fits with the card because it's the dad card, it's the emperor, it's the politicians, and it is our voting day today. Home and Family Life and uh, Mercury. So that's uh, communications. Um, so, the old father, the emperor, today. So it could be dad in spirit if you're waiting to hear from somebody in spirit. That could be it. But basically it's leaders, it's kings, it's politicians, it's bosses, it's father figures. The divine masculine uh, energy. There's a divine feminine yesterday, divine masculine today. And it proves what I said about the cycles, the fool's journey. Every day is a new journey. You don't have to repeat the mistakes of yesterday. So let's see what they've got for us. I've been out and about today, so uh, I seem to be picking up the allergies again. So you have to excuse me if I am sniffing because I'm trying not to, but I can, I can bet my life that wants to go for me through up my nose. That's it. I've had it. Uh, just see it as interference. I think we'll have a look at the astrology as well, see what's going on, because I think we've got the, tomorrow we've got the new moon, 5th. So I'll be doing a read after I've been to vote and what have you for the uh, new moon. Let's have a look. 5th. Of July, oh sorry, 5th is tomorrow, fourth of July, moon enters cancer which fits the dice and we've got cancer, herb and family life there. So let's have a go then, the emperor. We want him in the upright because otherwise it's depression and lack of self-confidence. Uh, so we want to have confidence. We want to we want a new leader. We want a good leader. Uh, a beneficial authority figure. A divine masculine. So let's see if we're going to get one. Doubt it if Stammer gets in. That's just my opinion. He's a weft puppet. Oh, steady. Had an interesting day out today. I went to a place where there was a, a Lady called Anne, Lady Anne something, Anne was mentioned in the read yesterday. She was taken to the tower and she was burnt at the stake as a martyr. They was all in yesterday, so uh, Spirit did really well that. 
I didn't know I was going and it's in the sweet spot. Oh, God damn it. I knew it. There we are, the highway. Politicians, bosses, father figures, kings, uh, partners, the divine masculine. Think they're all that and a bag of chips. Well, I disagree, mate. So, lack of self-esteem, lack of self-respect, um, head injuries, head and face injuries. It is um, someone in a position of power who shouldn't be. Four or 31 um, negative energy. But it is just today's card. It's neutral, so it's just saying it's not necessarily a positive day. But we know now that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different outcome. If you are voting the same way you always have done or tactically or whatever you want to call it, you know that you've, you're doing the wrong thing. It's time to take a different path. It might be a harder path, but it's the one that you should take. Somebody isn't doing that. Somebody isn't taking action because of lack of self-esteem. Somebody's having a day off. Hoping that it'll all go away if um, somebody resting um, and it's going to make that journey far harder. The new moon on the 5th shows us that we're pulled in too many di different directions. Um, we can't see the path clearly and we've got to go very cautiously. Fear of the future will hold you back, putting things off until tomorrow. It's no good. It has to be done now. Uh, I might post this early so that you see it because this needs to be done. You need to take a stand because otherwise you're going to miss the opportunity and you'll be stuck. Your inner child is telling you you've got to do as you're told and you're stuck where you don't want to be. This is negative energy. So the 18 and the 22, not a positive energy either. Two dogs torn between two properties, two people, two situations. We've got another dog there. Uh, Richard is mentioned. Negative energy. So it's tomorrow, today, should I say the fourth, is not a good day for our self-esteem, our self-respect, and we will miss an opportunity if we don't do the right thing. It's time to take action. It's time to be passionate and believe in yourself. Shoulders back, chest out, looking the world in the eye. That's the Emperor's new clothes. He's walking around in the lift and there's nobody to shout out and say, you do know you're naked, don't you? I expected better for this one. I'm a bit disappointed. So a lot of you are going to make the same mistake you always do. Voting for the same old rubbish. Yep, it's going to be a hard lesson to learn. But you need to learn it to overcome the addictions to the old way of doing things, the outcome, the situation, um, alcohol, drugs, addictions, whatever it is. Um, not prepared to make any sacrifices. But you will come out stronger on the other side, but this may take a lot longer because you've missed the opportunity. You're slogging your guts out for ungrateful people who don't deserve it. Cinderella will not go to the ball because the two ugly sisters are going to uh, make a work even harder. So the 14 is the only positive we've got. Sagittarius energy, university study, um, weight gain, weight loss. Yeah, it's time to move on. And you aren't doing it. Somebody isn't doing it. You can't take the baggage of the past with you. You've got to move on, travel across water possibly. There are those who see, those who see when they're shown, and those who will never see. Be one of those who sees. Don't be the ones that stick their head in the sand and pretend nothing's happening. It's an important day. Yeah, the secrets will be revealed. There's so many things going to come out. Um, and all the things that you sacrificed for, the, the people you sacrificed for, it wasn't worth it. You've got to put your force field in place and repel any negativity, be it financially, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, or physically. 2 or 29, coming back from the gates of hell. Something in the next eight days that's coming to astonish you, that you do not expect. 
yeah you've got to make a decision you cannot put your head in the sand you cannot be in denial you cannot wait till you show the facts and you cannot um be protecting others someone is emotionally blackmailing or financially blackmailing you there is problems within the home and family life which is in the dice as well a celebration may be called off um, or a loss of a home. A home is not a home without a fire in the hearth, food on the table and a welcome at the door. And it could be to do with the past. Kids from memories of the past, people from the past. Um, but it's important. Childhood memories, looking back at videos and uh, pictures. Siblings, children, the happiness of the past. You're being watched. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, child or younger energy, sportsman. Sports person, uh, communication, truthful, though it may be harsh words, which fits with Mercury there. And then we have a negative piece of news or a piece of news not arriving, a parcel not being delivered, <clears throat> a gift not received, uh, somebody's blocked, Taurus Vega, Capricorn Energy. Because this is a toxic situation where you are shackled by a contract or vow. Any vows or contracts made under duress um, should not be kept. Don't try keeping up with the journeys. Persephone was dragged to the gates of hell to marry the devil. Uh, 15. Negative energy. Toxic situation. You are loved. That's the cancer energy of the home and family life. Someone loves you unconditionally, in spirit or the flesh, but you are impatient for your ships to come in. You can no longer dim your light. You have to face the chaos head on, and then there will be hope, healing and freedom. Out of the chaos comes order, the 17. So we have the 15. We had 16 yesterday, but we have the 15, the 17, the 18, um, and out of those, only the 17 is positive. Aquarius energy, 20th of January to 20th of February. Face the fear. There will be no celebration. Um, no gets-togethers. No reunions. Because somebody refuses to take action. But there will be a house move. So, uh, house move or uh, somebody reclaiming the house or a child we've got three kids now we've got a an earth sign an air sign and a water sign uh, and the only negative is the air sign so if it's not children it's finances and career making no improvement whatsoever be careful you're not looking for love in the wrong places but somebody is seeking someone they love uh, there is unconditional love here um, someone wants to commit, but the other is not quite ready for that yet. So, swapping one house for another, a house move perhaps, children might not like it. Uh, the rune, let's have a look. The rune is, it's a different one to the north one, wait more a minute, we've got more than one rune deck just like we have more than one tarot, so it is NG, which would be ing I believe. G. There it is. 
it's decluttering getting ready for a house move i believe um the letters ng as in thing uh, it's contracted its name to ing so contracts again don't sign anything the horse god so there's born in the year the horse although ing Frey was a horse god the main symbolic association of this rune deals with another totem beast altogether those born in the year the boar which is venus taurus the cuckoo is the bed symbol so a cuckoo in the nest which is capricorn um and the herb rosemary so the name rosemary self-healing correspondence with the vegetable kingdom um a doorway but you're not choosing to walk through that doorway unfortunately um a portal to the astral plane in germanic language names ending with an ing son of so sons and we've got plenty of kids there so it could be any one of those the son of the king which is the emperor we've got um Frey, the norse god of the earth and fertility so taurus um primary deity associated with ingus he is also identified although tenuously as the god of the horses ing and ing Frey. however Frey did not actually ride a horse he preferred a steed which was a wild boar named Gillen Brosteg, or Golden Bristles. The bristles on the boar's back symbolise the fields of ripening wheat. Although most sources refer to Ing and Frey as being one and the same, there's an element of doubt regarding the identification. As the Ing sound often denotes the son of, Ing Frey may not have been Frey himself, but rather his unnamed son. So there may be a child that does not carry your name. He also appears to have a semi-historical person who, in the words of the rune poem, I keep saying it, I'm going to get find that rune poem and get it sorted, was amongst the East Danes, first seen by men. Ingers is particularly concerned with the health, fertility and well-being of men. It often denotes fertility of the mind or the motivation and energy needed to start a new project. And somebody is refusing to it's rejecting that new offer um, a new job is often indicated when this rune is drawn but even this if this does not occur the potential remains for considerable change for the better of course for a new phase of life to begin it is necessary to finish the old business and turn away from the situation that's been leading nowhere to choose a different path because otherwise you'll go insane. Uh, new and more productive opportunities will arrive. It's problem solving. So if a complex matter is taking up your time and attention, its solution is not far away. So ignoring the problem may be a day off or finding peace of mind, but not tomorrow you've got to vote. Um, you cannot see the bigger picture. When you return with fresh insight, the solution will be obvious. It may also be time to look at a holiday. I don't see that unless you move on. Uh, put your house in order, yes. Any repairs need doing, declutter, because that is um, good feng shui. Get rid of the rubbish, focus your attention on the harmony of your surroundings. The implications of the room go further. Perhaps certain people are sapping your confidence and taking advantage of your goodwill. Yes, if these folk should, if so, these short folk should no longer play a role in your life. So Cinderella gets to kick their ugly sisters out and concentrate on herself for a change. These folk should no longer play a role in your life. You will need courage, foresight, and wisdom. To detect who or what you need around you and what is redundant. Ingos may also have a bearing on inheritance, both the passing on of material goods through the generations and the continuance of traditions or the traits of your forebears. So your ancestors are asking you to remember the past. Never forget the past. Then we have... Uh, 
first house of Aries, which is we've got in the reverse and we need it in the upright. So it's time to use your passion to move forwards. First house. The first house is where your identity is formed. It also describes the circumstances surrounding birth, the reception of child arrival. Uh, a planet in the first house has a profound impact on the individual's early life. So whatever's in your first house and the developing personality with Pluto in the first, for example, the process of birth may have been life threatening. Uranus or Mars indicates a sudden appearance whereas Saturn can point to a long, slow or difficult birth or a cold reception or the family may be materially or emotionally impoverished. Um, <clears throat> this is about the head and face, so injuries there are probable. Place of birth, immediate environment, the colour white, so the crown chakra, the top of the head, the self, incarnation, self-image, separateness, individuality, physical characteristics and personal appearance, expectations of environment. So somebody is hiding their love away, don't forget, but the secret is coming out. So, <clears throat> Mercury and Cancer, uh, somebody may be declaring their love. So, emotional communications, intuitive, imaginative, thoughtful, subjective, with a high retentive memory. Mercury and Cancer lives in a past coloured by emotional memories. So, living in the past, it's not going to do you any good. Scorpio, it is time to shed that skin. Come out of your cocoon, your comfort zone and become the butterfly you was always meant to be. Face the chaos. Strengthen your wings and fly. So, it's the death card. Death and rebirth. So, do beginnings all over this. Put your ear down close to your soul and listen hard. And what did I say about Anne today? That Lady Anne... Who died as the matter, being burnt at the at the stake. Please don't be the matter. Don't stay somewhere where you are unhappy. Acknowledge your desires and surrender to your depth. Uh, You may feel isolated and on your own, yes, without much sympathy or help from others, yes. If so, it's time for you to stand on your own two feet, stand alone if you have to, against tyranny. Um, you will likely win and come out much stronger and happier than ever before, what did I say? Overcoming it. Um... Uh, But it will still be an intense time. <clears throat> there are a number of positive changes with this card. You will soon gain that what you have worked so hard for. This card implies karmic issues, even the resurfacing of past life recollections. So many of your relationships will now have a karmic nature and thus be tried as well. Your life may seem like a trial. Matters involving inheritance and money may figure in such as heirlooms, legacies and what comes through family or people you are tied to from the deep past. You may have to deal with so someone who plots revenge over something you haven't done. It could also be a time where enemies surface, so you would be wise to protect your reputation. Strong sexual attractions may arise, whether wish for or not. Obsessions are possible. It is wise not to get wrapped up in any intrigue with people you don't know very well. Of doing only for a short time. Do not attempt to manoeuvre or manipulate anyone or anything because this will backfire. On the positive side, 
Now is the time to be resourceful and guard that which you have worked for. If your man answers your question, expect it to be transforming and not something that you can leave aside. In some cases, your partner will seem aloof and hard to reach and matters may erupt into unexpected passion. If a, uh, in dealing with a job or career, expect intensity, restrictions and demands. Sometimes when this card comes up, it indicates that you will be going through a period of deep self-analysis. You may seek out a professional or you may work through this alone by reading or through reflection. Be careful when it comes to finances as such as taxes, property and shared assets. You could have resounding success or tremendous losses. But the message here is to take your chance and then stick with your decision no matter what. So roll the dice. You have the ability now to make it work. The number 13. Oh, damn it. And the number eight, Shaman Spiral. Be alert, be aware, keep up your practices and connect. So that's lighting your incense, saying your prayers, doing whatever you do. You practice it, you do it, and it, until it comes second nature. Um, alternative medicine could be a thing. Number eight. Shaman, Shaman Spiral. The solitary shaman, the walker between worlds, between Persephone and the devil, um, bridges the gap between the physical and the non-physical realities. Build a bridge and get over it. Call on this spirit helper when it needs to connect and be aware of self and surroundings. She will guide you to what you need. The spiral into the self indicates a knowing of what you were in the past the physical body and where you came from without the need for your ego this card represents the knowing of yourself the true you your spirit a deepening of your awareness and understanding of the world through the shaman's eyes you see when you are when our physical body dies our soul lives on to reincarnate again and again. So who are you without the illuminations of your body? <clears throat> One needs to look very deep to take off the restrictions of who we think we are. If we were never to be interacting with other people, who would you be? You should still be that person. Um, are you comfortable with who you are on the inside and does it match the person you are on the outside? Is there an ego, the need to set aside or do you need to find your inner strength to be who you truly are, free and harsh from harsh judgment we find from those around us? Are you with like-minded people, those who see, or uh, people who support and love you unconditionally? Only when you love who you are on the inside and fully know when you are doing what brings you joy, will, the, will you not then care what other people think? Stand proud with your convictions in your own skin. It's a proud energy to be reckoned with, which from the place you can take on anything. When you find this place, remember what it feels like, not what it looks like, what it feels like. So when you are feeling off centre and need to find your strength again, you can look within. It's showing a, a need to practice your spirituality. What are your rituals? What is your self-care? You may be getting stuck into the physical material world and getting bogged down. Start doing a pr practice, wake up and meditate. Light your incense on your altar. Uh, with a tree each day until you feel it speak to you doing the work means growing up and making the spiritual continuations necessary to feed your spirit and keep you uplifted in this physical time 
wearing false masks in number 21. It isn't over till the fat lady sings, I'm afraid. So we've got some um, things to handle first. So, delays in travel, especially... Uh, So, uh, the mask both conceals and reveals and when you don a mask you present another face to the world, perhaps a part of yourself that you do not dare to show to everything, everyday life. So if this is someone in spirit there is an injury to the head or the face. Um, ceremonial masks allow the wearer to embody the deity itself, drawing forth powers that can possess mere humans with divine inspiration. Beware, or it's not as it seems, judge carefully whether true words are being spoken or true intentions stated. So your persona, your self-expression, your embodiment. Show your true face to the world. Who do you think you are? And I can just hear somebody say that to you. It said it in the read the other day. A Buddha means you may have to turn your back on everything you've ever known or believed to be true to follow your true path as buddha did so the white chakra the bit the crown of the head again can't make it up so you saw me shuffle you saw me deal all different decks same message buddha was born to the royal family the sixth century bc as the son of the king so again there we have it the sons of kings presidents bosses whatever it is his father kept him within the palace and shielded him from the pain and suffering that was beyond those walls. You don't need to shield them, they've got to grow up sometime. From this childhood, he had thirst to understand the great meaning of the world and knew the knowledge that he sought could not be granted to him in the shelter of this place. As a young boy, his teacher took him beyond the walls uh, where he was greatly saddened by the sight he witnessed. Buddha reveals his search for spiritual fulfilment will not be found in the wilderness. A royal family member and in order to find the answers he sought he let his family uh, to experience the world of himself. For the remainder of his lifetime he practiced meditation and sought scriptures guidance and eventually found the and spiritual enlightenment. He became known as the Buddha, which means the enlightened one. For the remainder of his life, Buddha travelled the world to teach people about ordinary salvation. You will not find the answers where you're looking whilst you remain in the same situation. Your inner wisdom provides you with a glimpse into the future and the opportunities beyond this situation. Tread the courage to step forward, step away, and the great knowledge that it will teach you from within. As a result of your continuous efforts, changes will inevitably occur, which may make you uncomfortable for a while. However, discomfort will quickly be replaced by clarity you have been searching for the answer to your love to you have been seeking will all become all the answers that you have been seeking will all become abundantly clear within days of this change perhaps three um so absolutely stunning well done spirit um i'll write this song up and i'll put it underneath thanks for listening bye